Love, Sireni Joe for John. Menki Deng for Asphalt, the Nakfuma, Mayor Mench. Therefore, Hawakuming, Harabanu Menk, just a check. Amen. Nayev Menki Deng for Asphalt, the Nakfuma, Mayor Mench. I think a mayor on the Mench. I did just that. Bites Menk, Arawank, the Nakvenk, Ira Mench. Arawa at the, I think, in short, Tarbir Tsunumi. Uzumem, I search, at him I should be kitch hosa. Tarbir Tsun, any word, or in a case, Herakosa, Karam, I think Karali in Jebi match, ah, in Jebi. Panjat Watts. Why is Tarbir Tsun, any word? Մի անցնեմ, հոգտագործ եմ, տարբերությունը հենի, որ մենք հողոցի վրայք անգում ենք ու նայում ենք հիսուսան, որ անցնումը, կամ մոտ են անք, են թե շտեղ եմ ենց կարում եմ։ Իրկը հանցքին դիպ չենք։ Ամեն։ Ամեն։ Ա� it's simple, but it's hard. Uh, some, of, some of what I say today is going to make us uncomfortable. Uh, why? Because it's going to actually require a, uh, a decision. Amen. We want to talk about what does it mean to abide in Him. We, we know in the Psalms, God looks down from heaven. It says God looks down from heaven on, Haraz, on the people of Harazdan. You thought Harazdan wasn't in the Bible. God. <laughs> God. Uh, to see if there's anyone who is seeking God. Uh, Jesus is, seems like he's always hinting. Uh, at seeking. He's always giving us some uh, admonition. Seek, knock, search. Dig. He's saying, who, what heart is reaching for him? He's looking down. Is there a generation that's seeking me today here in Razdan? Want to make a statement? God's first most desire for you. Is not to send you to the ends of the earth. It's not for you to do this or this. It's not even to use you. God's first most desire for you is what? God's first most desire for you is to know Him. But that's the hardest thing to do. It's harder than any other of those other things I mentioned. Because why? We have to search. And searching takes sacrifice. Searching takes time. Uh, searching takes this hard decisions. 
Searching takes judgment from everybody else around us. Does. And so we begin to fool ourselves into thinking sometimes that maybe uh, what we're doing is actually is, is pleasing God when maybe it's not. You know what God is pleased with? When your heart is reaching to Him. The thing that troubles me in ministry is troubling to me. I'm saying, could it be possible that all this stuff I'm doing is just that wood hay and stubble that, that is, uh, Scripture speaks of? Everybody around me can say, wow, what an amazing ministry. Uh, Peter John, what a good sermon. Peter John is uh, this is a, this is you know amazing. You're you're doing missionary work. You know what I do? I go home. I start washing the dishes. I do that. I'd like to. <laughs> because it makes me think. <laughs> is what I'm doing, is it pleasing to the Lord Jesus? Or is it all a facade to make me feel like I'm doing something good? Stop everything. Ask the question. Uh, we have an opportunity to do that right now, guys. We may not have the, the steep thoughts. We may not have the opportunity to uh, to do the same ministries. Uh, as be jocking, or I saw mentioning, um, right? So let's 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 uh, discover what we can do. I know Marty Ut was last week. Uh, but. Uh, I am going to speak about two women today. I saw Who sought God. Okay, One's from the Old Testament, one's from the New. And for the guys, we are uh, we can do this same thing. Uh, Jesus never said that they are uh, what they're what, the way that they're serving him is only for women. Okay, we know the story of Mary from Bethany, and uh, Jesus uh, would often visit there. And we know the story in Luke chapter 10. Where, uh, what is happening? Mary is listening to Jesus. But she knows she should be serving. According to what everyone else around her thinks, she should be serving. Uh, 
But she chooses to be ridiculed by everyone else. And she's not going to prepare this surge. She's not helping to lay the table. And you know what happens? Jesus defends her. He defends her. He says, she's chosen the right thing to do. She is doing what pleases him. Amen. Amen. Is list, she's listening to Jesus. She's seeking Jesus. He says, leave her alone. Because uh, she's chosen the right thing. Next statement, write it down. God will never draw you away from him to serve him. He will never draw you away from him to serve him. Amen. He won't do that. And if you start to wonder, uh, if you start to wonder, come back and know that he's going to offend you. I think today uh, is meant to be a little bit of a reset for us. Okay, that, that it's coming back to that place. Um, that place is a place of uh, solitude. I vide me pusi vide. But that place is the place where Jesus is. Sakain I teva I vide vor te Jesus ne. Oh, question. Mihans. Do you know where the Father is? Kite vor te ve hide. According to Matthew six. As Matthew was verse six. Twice. It says where the Father is. Why the Gachni place? Why can't it be easier? Why can't he be uh, where we can easily reach him? He wants us to seek. And his promise is that we will find. He gives us lots of clues. Lots. So we're not left as orphans wondering where our father is. I think in Miss Chi told him as best born Peri Pes but at Ven Pes and Ure Mer Haider. But we have a choice. But are we going to go Menka Ganank U Ganak Venk Yurok Yuramich? I bought a shimmer with the guy at Snake. Park Asun Menk Gunumank Hing Katakaranin Song of Solomon. Yet yet cuts. Song of Solomon. <laughs> uh, <nah. laughs> what is this going on in Song of Solomon? <laughs> Guys, when's the last time we have read Song of Solomon? <laughs> I don't want us to skip this book. Anger <laughs> uh, to give this book justice, it would need at least six, seven, eight sermons. Lovely Petros John. Song of Solomon? Yes. One of the clues is in Song of Solomon. 
et hushumnerit uortumnerit meke so today we're going to talk for five minutes on it. Just to start to your awkward job for Mikich. Okay. And do Eli Eli Gagan Chosan Park Gasun. Hima, who knows what an allegory is? Gitek hamemat allegoria in chen chen akum. Allegoria. Aila panatsin. Yeah, you know, Jesus is his favorite way to tell stories. Do we understand allegories? Yeah, then we need to understand Song of Solomon. Uh, when it's an allegory, it can be telling the story about a woman but it's actually about Karen. Or Armin. Oh, you guys are in Song of Solomon. And you're not the uh, you're not the lover, you're the loved one. You're not the Pesa. You're the horse. You're the Akchi. <laughs> You're the Sira Sira Har Har Sira Harvatnik. You're the Sira Harvat Achiknik. Okay, I'm going to stop soon, but I'm not going to stop yet. Send me Hima, but there take my chance. The lover or the 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 uh, the horse, she is she is in love with her pesa. Harsnatun Sira Harvat is pesaim. Amen, Abraham John. Amen. And she is a, a, she is a weak horse. Inka the God horse. Aren't we all weak? Me him and followers at the garden. I she is like very tuile. Tuile. And she uh, she's doing her best. But it lava going ne portsmane. The pace is reaching out to her. She draws near to him. She reaches out to the Pesa. Pesa draws near to her. Guys, did you know that it's not just that God draws you? You can draw God. Right? I started by saying the woman who touched the hem of his robe. Another woman. Uh, why is it? Everyone who does the right thing in the scripture is always a woman. <laughs> 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 I need to hear more amens from the woman. Che, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Um, uh, we, we, we see that she. Touched, she reached out and touched Jesus and received what she was looking for. Right? If she stood by the roadside and watched him pass by, she would miss it. She would miss it. What are we missing? What are we missing today? Because we don't reach, we're waiting. Come, Holy Spirit, come, Father, minister to me. He says, Ari, We need to reach, we need to go. Uh, we have chapter 5 in Song of Solomon. Uh, the, the horse is saying, I'm sleeping. Guys, when we have the call to, to, uh, uh, to radical devotion, Every spiritual force and every natural 
force of nature. <laughs> is going to push against us doing this. Because that is the moment that you are beginning to engage with God on more than just a superficial level. What is God's first most desire for your life? Amen. When you start to do that, there's nothing that will militate against you like when you begin to seek to know him. It will militate against you doing that. Anyway, we have here, I, sl I slept, she said. Yes, I, have, I have already taken off my garment. And her pace is knocking. And she said, my heart wants to go. Uh, right? Do I see papagness? Huh? I, my heart wants to go. Right? And this is, again, now she is having to make a decision. Is she going to go? Hence, when she decides she's going to, uh, she just missed him. And what does she do? She begins to seek. She says, why did I get up when he was knocking? I could sleep another time. You know, guys, how hard it is. I've been trying to wake up early in the morning. And you know, we have this stupid button on our phone that's like 10 more minutes. 10 more minutes. Huh? It's from the devil. Huh? I'm using it a lot. But the devil will use any gochak. Right? He, the, the, the thing he's most passionate about is getting you from touching God in the secret place. So she begins to seek. Young woman. A beautiful woman. It's the middle of the night. And now you're going out into the streets of the city where the gangs are where the drunk people are where the lawlessness is what are you doing? you stupid little girl what is going on? and they say that in verse 7 and they were so displeased with her. They beat her. They bruised her. And these were her wounds of love. They say, go back to bed. She says, no. I will never go back to bed again. Because he called me. He called me. I've got to find him. Where, where is he? And then they said, I saw it, Donna. Why? Who is this Pesa? They said, Who is he more than any Pesa? 
There are many pesos in the, around you. I mean, there's many, many other girls in love right now. They're in bed sleeping right now. Go sleep where they're sleeping. It's night time. It means it's sleeping time. I think that pretty kindness. Go back. Uh, she says, I'm not going back. She says, uh, she says, help me find him. They say, yeah, right, tough luck. What is seed more than any, any other? She says, ha, I'm glad you asked. What does she do now? She uh, she stands up. I said, take a very Hello. She opens up her notes. <laughs> and she starts to preach a sermon. My face is like this. In person, I see seen him. Is like this. Is like that. No. She doesn't do it like that. She continues her search. Bruised and beaten. She's starting to cry. So she, she says it's more urgent than ever. Before she was walking fast. Now she's running. And she's shouting. My beloved is radiant. Who is he? He's the first among 10,000. He's this. He's that. And she's shouting and running. And a crowd starts to form behind her. And she continues for the rest of the chapter. In this uh, magnificent language describing who her beloved is. And they're just trying to keep up with her. They can barely hear what she's saying. But there's like, what? Did I hear that right? Could that be really the who this person is? But the, the, the outstanding among 10,000? Who is this person? They're running on a breath. She is too, but she doesn't care. She's going to go until she finds. She's not preaching a sermon. She is after one thing. She's going in that direction. She doesn't care if anyone else is coming behind her. She doesn't care about the pain she feels in her body. This is an allegory. This, guys, she is... She's not, she's not doing some sort of Tzara She's not thinking about people. When did our Tzara become about people? Tzara is, is, the word worship can mean Tzara from the beginning, from the foundation, our Tzara'yutun is, there's only one person in that audience. Oh, one. When we are after that one, 
Trust me. They're going to come. They're going to say, what is this craziness that you're willing to give up everything and put yourself in danger and come after? What, 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 uh, what is this that's so valuable that you have paid such a high cost? That's why this chapter is actually my favorite missionary chapter in the Bible. Because all she's doing while she's running I don't know what that is, except she's preaching the gospel. What is, what is the gospel if it's not uh, 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 speaking, right? The knowledge of who is your beloved, who is Jesus Christ. And this knowledge came from her secret place. It came from the secret place. It wasn't in the here. She had experienced something. And she was worshipping and she led all of these people to him. Just after she finishes that long testimony, the witness of what she's seen, the witness, right? Read verse 6 of uh, verse 1 from chapter 6. Betsyotkohi Arachimhoska. These were the same people in chapter 5, verse 9, who said, she gets done telling them, who is he? And then they say, can I come to? And, right? And the gospel is being preached. And those who sat in darkness see light. And the kingdom of God advances. And missions goes to the ends of the earth. Because one heart had one vision and she went after that. The enemy will use any tactic to keep you away from the secret place. You know what? I don't think he minds much if you go to the mission field without the secret place. Okay. But if you go to the ends of the earth, in the secret place, He's going to come after you. Because that's where the Father is. That's the place of encounter. That's the place of power. That's the place of victory. Okay? In the coming weeks, 
Run to the secret place. Go where the Father is. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard to set it as a priority. But it's even harder to keep it that way. It's easy to get up at 6.30 in the morning for seven days. It's harder for seven months. And how many of us, you know, how many of us can do seven years? <laughs> uh, you know, that's okay. Don't, you know, another, uh, in, in Song of Solomon, God, the, 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 the Pesa, in this place, Jesus, uh, he says, just one glance. Just one glance. That stirs my heart. That gives me all the butterflies inside. One glance. One morning at 6.30 and how many me are about the chance guess for the last night? Ravishes his heart. Da, ne va jumeish sirte. That's what it says. Kervate. Start somewhere. Sksinich for getit. Start somewhere. Sksinich for getit. And know that he is going to defend you. U imazi vor na miish pash panelu ekes. We need to not only set it as the priority that he's the one thing. Menk voch me anta vor pes arash na her tu tum pidi den ek mer arche vor na mer hamar hamar arachi ne. But to keep it that way, we need help. We need prayer. We need to pray for one another. Don't pray for me to, to some rich Turkish people. <laughs> pray for me to reach God. That will be the difference between me reaching Turkish people or not. You know, Paul's prayers in the epistles, I would say 90% of them are not for the lost. They're for those in the church. Because we need it. We got to get the first things right. And it's only in that place where we will, uh, where we will uh, become a witness. Let's go back to Mary. We know Mary, she was listening to Jesus. And you know what? Jesus was trying to tell his followers that he was going to die. Right? They did not understand what he was saying. Their ears were not open. You know whose ears were open? I bet you it was Mary's. And I bet you she knew deep down in her spirit that something was going to happen to Jesus that no one else realized. You know what? Do you, you, you know uh, why I think Peter said that he would, maybe, maybe, one of the reasons Peter said that he would go to Jesus even to death 
Jesus Petros ya polisi sunya sad yes keset mi chem mahel gvenam mi guts'e patyarnerets mekna iner because he was so tenacious in his faith to think to, to believe that his hero could never die guts'e inknir havat ki met aitkan mi amit er vor mtatsum er Jesus so che ir havat ki heroso na yerkhe chi merni so he can say that and no one else will come to him <laughs> I don't know. That's just a thought. But Mary was listening. And you know, Mary knew uh, the, the value of Jesus. And Mary had something of value too. You know, it, it, it can be uh, commentators, uh, they, they speculate that um, Mary and Martha and Lazarus were orphans. Uh, because it never speaks of their parents. And it always speaks of Jesus going to Martha's house. That's strange if her parents are there, right? So it's assumed that Martha received the house as an inheritance. And Mary received something of an inheritance. It wasn't the house. But it was something else tucked in her back room, up on the shelf. Away from the eyes of thieves. You know, very carefully put there. Very, very, very valuable perfume. This was not Chanel. This was something very precious. And it was there and it was sealed. And she's thinking about Jesus. The one who uh, her soul loves. Now it hokin sirumesh Jesusin. What? can I do for Jesus? She starts thinking the, about this early, early on. And, she's, and then the thought comes. My perfume. My perfume. No. No. Stupid. That's not, that's, that's a bad idea. Oh, what can I do, what can I do? My perfume. <laughs> it's a bad idea. She goes, she looks at it. Jesus is over at her house. No. She feeds Jesus. She does her best to serve him. She gives all of her hummus. She pours it out before him. And she lets Jesus go. I'm just, I'm, I'm adding a little color to the story. But I think this is how it happened. Comes over again. She knows the time is nearing. That she might not have another chance. And she thinks, oh no. She goes and looks at her perfume. No, it's good, but it's my she takes out the shelf. She goes to the room. She's hiding it underneath her coat. She's thinking about 
This is the most valuable thing. This is her whole hope in life. In a natural sense, right? And then she looks at the people around. And she starts to hear their voices in her head. Accusation. What are you doing? Now we're going to have to take care of you the rest of your life. He must be first. This was this is your only hope for for an investment to start a family, bright price. And 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 it probably was her only hope for bright price. Uh, and it and it was too much for her. Close the door. He's just a good He's gone. So we see in the first verse, uh, second, third verse, that they decide, the chief priests, the Pharisees, and they make a plot to kill Jesus. And Jesus is in Bethany. And I don't know, but maybe this Mary realized that this was her last chance. And her heart begins to pound. And all the voices come back. All the accusations that will come from the people. The scorn. As if, as if it wasn't enough to calculate and count the costs for herself. Then she has to have all the con uh, contemplate the condemnation coming from others. She takes it and she's determined. She goes and she breaks the whole thing. And she just pours it on Jesus. It's messy. And all the others in the room, they catch their breath. Smell is so strong. They know that smell. Maybe once and twice in their lives they smelled it. And they are speechless. They can't say anything. It's this silence that you know is makes you so uncomfortable. Right? Jesus sitting there. Jesus in the He's at peace. But Jesus is hanging He knows what's going on. In the kitchen, check out that one. Mary. Maria. She's like, oh gosh, what have I done? Ah, it's in charity. Ah. And uh, as soon as the disciples, they stay, they they catch their breath. They all look at Mary. First one to speak maybe is her brother. Right? Talk in the saw. Gone. And she feels probably, she probably, she's human, okay? We put her on a pedestal. But immediately, immediately she starts to feel doubts. 
Այդ պահինը սկսում է կասկածների մտրվել։ Որ հավ այդ ամը։ Ես ինչ արեցի։ Հենց որ դու կայներ ես անում կախլի վայր էվ մտնելու, ես բոլոր ձայները կալիս ենք հոմը։ Արդյոք կյանքը տետպես վատնելու ես իսուսի ոտքերի առաջ։ Այն բոլոր մտքերը թե ուրիշ ինչ հեր դու կարող է իրանել խոգյանքում ինչ հերի հասնել, այդ ձայները կալու են։ Ինչ ծառայթյուններ դու կարող է իրանել տրսում։ Դու որվա մեջ ճամեր ես անցկացնում։ Հիսուսի ոտքերի առաջ։ Ուղակի տալիս ես, վատնում ես այդ բան ժամերը։ And they say, they say, uh, they say, uh, you know, you should have used it something way, some way else. If the guys are sad of using the, the girl as an example, I can use this guy as an example for us. <laughs> No, let's not do that. <laughs> because he says, you could have used somewhere else. He's wrong. And Jesus, again, comes to her defense. Again. And, she's, and he says, she's done it for me. She's done it for me. Why are you? Why are you messing with her? Why are you bothering her? Why? She's doing something very wonderful for me. Very beautiful. And Mary takes a deep breath. She went, she did a risk. She went in, out on a limb. And, uh, and, and, and Jesus caught her. Yeah, Jesus is a and, and he says, uh, this is going to go before, this is going to go out as a witness about me. Before we go there, you know, how would you like to be defended by Jesus himself? When you reach out, you will never be rejected. You will never be rejected. Don't care if you're young. Old. Man. Woman. You will never be rejected. Clean. Unclean. You won't be rejected. If you have failed. If you missed your place the day before. You won't be rejected. That's the good news. You know, the father's in the secret place and he has always in the secret. It's just a matter of stepping in. Nothing needs to stop us from drawing near. Amen. Amen. No doubt. No second guessing. No misunderstanding of, of the Father's heart. And it's from that place that your witness will begin to shine forth. We know God is a consuming fire. You can't, you can't take fire in your bosom and not be burned. It's just the reality of fire. You go get caught on fire and get burning 
Ce que c'est Barbel. And you begin to minister. Ou que ce que c'est Sarayel. To God. À Saraj. Amen. And then that fire will burn before others. Yep, I kraka. Hebrews 1.7 says what? Speaking about angels, <coughs> says he makes his ministers <coughs> flames of fire. Oh, his ministers so the ones that are uh, the ones that are ministering to people they're ministering God around his throne and that flame of fire they catch fire and they're going lit on fire. In Romans 12, 1, it says, Offer your bodies as a sacrifice. This is worship. What happens to sacrifice? In Chekatar Muzohi? Right? Varvuma, huh? Varvuma. And so that, uh, and it says, uh, this is your worship. It's getting caught on fire. Because you're close to the consuming fire. You know, it's it's uh, John. They speak of John the Baptist. Uh, in in the book of John, it says he's a burning and shining lamp. He caught fire. And then Jesus said, "Who did you go out to hear?" Jesus said. No. It says, who did you go out to see? Not who did you go out to hear, what did you go out to see? Your witness is a flame of fire that people are going to go out to see. And they will come to your light. And you will be a witness wherever you are. Even if that's in the desert. Does that drive the point home? The desert, being in the desert, it's the place where John had his ministry. It didn't matter where because John was burning. The, the horse, she is witnessing in the middle of the night. That we spoke of in Song of Solomon. We have John in the desert. That's not where you do tzara'itun. It is if you're if you're lit on fire. You don't go in the middle of the night. Mary was in her own home. And that's uh, that's where she burned. And Jesus says about what Mary did. Uh, listen to this. What she has done 
will be told wherever the gospel is preached. What an extravagant statement. Why did why did God why did Jesus choose that? Why not Matthew 16 where Peter has the revelation that Jesus is the Son of God? You are the Son of the Living God. Ayo, Peter, Barjona, Simon. Ayo, Petros, this will be preached wherever the gospel is preached. No, he didn't choose that moment. Why not the time when the, the sinful tax collector Zacchaeus was transformed in one evening? Why not that powerful moment? Where a man turns 180 degrees. And that testimony, let it be preached wherever the gospel goes forth. God wants all the nations and peoples to know his great work. And he picked Mary's story. He cares about your life. He cares about your vision. Your mission. And your ministry. But he cares about his glory. And his knowledge, and the knowledge of his work. For As we close, let's just stand up. God wants a witness in the earth. Of a life that makes much of him. God wants a witness in the earth of a life that makes much of him. Not makes much of people. Your ministry is not about the people. But as soon as it's about God, people will come to your light. Paul's service was never about love for men, but love for Jesus Christ. If we are devoted first to humanity, and their cause that will soon crush us. That will soon, we will soon uh, become sad. And, and because we will receive less thanks from men than we would from a dog sometimes. Really? Right? It's not before people. It's in love for our Pesa. And then nothing can stop us from serving them. I want to pray this song as we finish. And I want us to make that decision in our hearts. It doesn't have to be, I'm going to do it like this, I'm going to do it like that. But turn your gaze. 
Just turn it. And, and, and let that be your cry. Lord, you alone are my portion. And my cup. You make my lot secure. Do in The boundary lines have come to me in good places. God is giving you boundary lines today. Amen. Amen. Those boundary lines is that secret place. Says I have a delightful inheritance. And it's not the jar of perfume. It's not even your legacy. Behold, I have a delightful inheritance. That delightful inheritance is the knowledge of God. I get a tikshar and mutuna tiroj kiterikne, kitutuna. I will praise the Lord. Piti or nem tirocha. Even at night. Ankham gishere. Even in the desert. Ankham anapati mech. Even in my own home. Ankham in tan mech. If I have to be quarantined. Ankham in te quarantine mech vine. I will praise the Lord. Yes, kapash nem tirocha. Because then I get to spend more time with Him. For a matter. I keep my eyes always on the Lord. And I will not be shaken. That fire, it will burn away those, those things and those ministries of no value. <laughs> and that fire <laughs> will make us a flame of fire, ministers a flame of fire. <laughs> that cannot be shaken. <laughs> Who wants the Lord at his right hand? <laughs> You know where the Lord is. In the secret place. 